何かあるのかと思って探しに来たんだ。Oh. <laughs> Today, we're checking out the new episode of My Hero Academia. But first, click the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can check out more of these reactions. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, you'll find some other links down in the description, like the link to my other channel where I do non anime reactions, or the link to my Twitch channel where I do some anime reactions live on stream, not this one. Because I do this so early in the morning, I literally woke up like 30 minutes ago. We're gonna check out some My Hero. I'm super excited for this. Let's watch it. Oh, okay. This is what it's on. Never mind. I thought I, th I thought a big. I think a big event is supposed to happen soon, or like a big reveal. I'll say. I don't remember when, but it's something in this in these fourteen chapters that I'm ahead of one. P uh, My Hero Academia right now. Wait, is Dobby the voice of Zenitsu? Am I just now realizing this? No, this is probably something I already knew and I just forgot because I forget everything. Okay, that's probably accurate. This man's the ultimate planner, dude. Oh, we're getting the reveal! Oh shit! It's happening this episode! That sugar! Oh. <laughs> I love that his power is just I eat sugar and I get strong as fuck. I'm just a I'm literally just a child, bro. <laughs> That's so funny. A sugar rush. Everyone beat the shit out of Kirishima. That's cool, I like it. Damn! I'm a wit this hoe. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's fucking cool, dude. Oh, that, yo, that's so cool. Wow, this man Baka goes sweaty. <laughs> That's when he turns up, too. That is so cool, dude. <laughs> His funny little afro hair. Dude. I think my control of my left side is getting close to that of my right side. Ooh, fire and ice, bro. This is how Mineta just gets stronger. He's like, I just pull all the grapes out of my fucking head. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That's I love it, bro. I I love I love Bak Yo, what's crazy? By the way, if you guys ever read the manga, Bakugo is unfucking hinged in the manga. The anime really dials back what he's saying. He says much worse shit. That old nutsack. <laughs> oh, Bakugo. Bakugo is literally one of my favorite characters in, in My Hero. Even though I used to hate him when the show started. I get it. A lot of people in the class. Oh, it's happening right now. It's literally happening right now. Oh, shit. Here it is. There's the big reveal. The big reveal. He's an all for one minion. I remember at the time of like when these chapters were releasing, because again, like I said, I read My Hero. This is about 13, 14 chapters behind where I am in, in the manga. And I say it like this because I read it on my phone. But then I was like, all right, you got to stop, Joe. <laughs> like you got to stop because eventually you can just react to My Hero, right? 
And I had to wait like two, three years before I could do that. I remember when this was coming out and everybody thought it was the invisible girl. Her ability is literally being invisible. Other people did think it was him because they, you know, there, there was that whole like arc where he was getting closer to Deku. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how the secret location shit. Hard to keep a secret a secret when you got somebody betraying you. I don't want to do it anymore. We just wanted you to be happy. Really? Oh! Oh, I totally forgot that's why! He does it because he didn't have a quirk and all for one. By the way, what a fucking shit quirk for all to all for one to give him. All for one gives him the quirk to shoot a laser beam out of his out of his belly button. And that's also why when the laser beam is fired, his tummy hurts. Right? You were born without a quirk. Oh. Yo, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine if All for One used the quirk instead? Like, if All for One gave Aoyama a different quirk, and like during that fight with, <laughs> during the fight with One for All, he's just like, <laughs> just fires off a laser beam out of his belly. That'd be so funny. Oh my god. Girl, don't step on a twig. And by the way, if you just think back, just think back on all of the My Hero episodes before this, how not present Aoyama is. This man is so much of a background character. He, he barely played any role for the longest time in the show. He only more recently started to play a role because of two things. One, because Horikoshi wants to establish a bond between him and the classmates. So that way he feels more guilt for the whole betraying everyone thing, right? And then two, obviously Horikoshi has to make it seem like he's not the guy, right? We know that there's a traitor. It's mentioned earlier in My Hero. So Horikoshi has to bring every, he has to make it, make you think like, oh, who could the traitor be? And when you make everyone kind of engaging with everyone, the friendships all building, it's harder to figure out who that traitor is. But if you really think about it, especially early on in My Hero, the first, like, I don't know, three to four seasons, he doesn't even exist almost. He never gets the spotlight except for a, a rare moment of, eh, look at me, and then, like, everybody ignores him. You thought you were free. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That he didn't say shit. Okay. A reach, all right? You're like almost gassing yourself up. You are somebody that made a terrible mistake. Villain is like, I don't know, man. I can't see my villain being the guy that shoots a laser beam out of his belly button. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I don't mean to disrespect, but also I do. <laughs> like I don't, I can't put that on you. I can't put villain on you, Aoyama. Bro, I almost started to tear up. There's a little bit of, there's a little bit of something, something here. Just thinking about how through it all, Deku is more concerned for Aoyama than he is mad at him. You buy a new one. That's fucked up. All for one is evil, bro. All for one is a fucking villain. Oh! Oh, she refracted that bitch! See what I mean? Like, I think Deku's more sad, feeling bad for him, caring about him, than angry at him for what he did. It's not even like, I think the kids should be capable of understanding here, right? Okay. Dude has no quirk, right? As a kid, he feels out of place. His parents don't want him to feel out of place. So what do his parents do? His parents make a deal with a guy. They don't know who the fuck All For One is. Shit, I'll be honest with you, nobody really knew who All For One was except for like the, re like the real heroes. Heroes knew who he was, like one for all and, and et cetera, because he stayed low key. He was like the underground leader, you know? They make a deal with a guy to get their son a quirk because they find that they can do that. He gets a quirk, and then that guy is like, all right, I, I'll give you their son the quirk, but then you got to help me. So then he grows up, and he's got to help. And if he doesn't help, then the guy's going to kill his fucking family. So he's tied into this situation where he, as a child, like as a toddler, made a decision, uh, like basically a kid saying, I want a toy. Okay, Son, we'll get you that toy and then sacrifice our lives for it. Kid doesn't understand that. It's shit, the parents didn't even really understand it. So when you, you can't really blame him. Bro, it's literally for the rest of his life, his parents' lives are in danger if he doesn't help the guy that bought him the toy. <laughs> Killed somebody else. No, you're not. Because he cares about you guys, that's why. He's literally locked up. He can't do it right now, but I get the sentiment. I get the sentiment. I get the sentiment. Get the sentiment. 
<laughs> Everybody's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, he can't, dude. <laughs> this guy's working with a bad guy. He cannot be a hero anymore. It's over. What are you, what are you fucking talking about? Wait, who's in this room? Is Endeavor in this room? I don't know. Hey, listen, if if Deku decides to turn the fuck up, nah, he's probably still getting beat. Just look at it. There's just way too many heroes in here, dude. I was going to say, if Deku turns the fuck up and wants to, to break out Aoyama and save him, he could. But then I think about it, and I think about, like, oh, there's a lot of heroes in here, dude. There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Unless a lot of his t uh, classmates help him, you know? Then, then maybe. Let's flip it. Let's flip it. Use them. Give them a chance to redeem themselves. Take my fucking hand. Take it. Oh, this is good. That was such a good fucking episode, dude. Ah, oh, such a good episode. Oh my god, I loved it, man. That was a good one. I like, like I said, dude. I read this stuff when the chapter came out. I read this. I know some people don't fuck with the fact that Aoyama was the the villain. Some people don't fuck with this whole arc. Some people don't fuck with a lot of my hero. There are people that are gonna dick ride my hero into infinity, and it can do no wrong. There are people that are going to hate my hero to infinity and it can do no right that's just the way the world works and then there's people that can recognize the flaws that my hero has and the the qualities of this series that shine so brightly you can look at a character like deku who maybe you're not a big fan of but you can see the qualities of deku that are actually such great shonen protagonist qualities and the same goes with other characters in the show. You know, a lot of people will credit Todoroki, Endeavor, like that whole stuff as being like a, the best part of My Hero. There are a lot of really good parts of My Hero. This, I think, is really good. I think that it really sells the emotional impact that you can see on both Aoyama, the traitor, and on Deku, the, the protagonist of the series. And you can see the type of hero that, that Deku is. He doesn't want to just, like, throw away everything that Aoyama's done. You know, he doesn't want to forgive him, but he also doesn't want to just completely, like, destroy him. He doesn't hate him for what he did. He can recognize why what was done was done. And he also wants to give him an opportunity to, to shine and be the hero that he wanted to be this entire time. What do you guys think about this one? How did you feel about the episode? How do you feel about the traitor reveal? How do you feel about potentially there being a plane where they use Aoyama to lure all for one? Which by the way, that's where that's where I stopped reading. When they're about to make that plan happen, right? Not when the plan's actually happening, I didn't get that far, but when they're about to make it happen is essentially where I stop watching or reading, whatever. I'm excited to see what actually happens, what the plan is and all that stuff. So again, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.